Carefully follow steps 1 to 5 to make the hammocks. You'll need approximately 100 hammocks. Push the hammocks into the, all the nets using two or three layers depending on the height of the nets. You may need to shorten the hammocks a little to get them to fit neatly. Construct the coronade according to the instructions given in stages 3 and 4 and attach as you have done previously with the other coronade. Place the four mast the right way round in its socket with the mast collar in place. There is no need to apply glue to the mast or collar but make sure that the mast is properly seated. Carefully follow steps 2 to 11 for securing the shrouds. Single out the four mast shroud and release it from the masking tape. Insert the thread from the back of the dead eye through the left hand hole. Pull the end until the knot stops against the back of the dead eye. Feed the thread through the left hand hole in the front dead eye fixed to the chain rail going in from the front. You only want a gentle tension on the shroud at this stage. Now feed the thread through the top central hole of the upper dead eye going to the back. Continue to lace the thread through the holes until it exits from the right hand hole at the back of the lower dead eye. Leave the end dangling for the moment as you will tension all the shrouds later on. Repeat this with all the four mast shrouds, lacing them to all the large dead eyes. Tighten the lanyards so that the dead eyes form a straight line and the shrouds and under a medium tension they should not be pulled too tight.
Adding the cutter pins. Cut a 40mm length of 1mm brass wire and straighten it, then clip it behind the four marsh shrouds. The wire will form the futtock stave. Tie it to the shrouds at two places with 0.5mm black thread. Then remove the pegs and adjust the position of the wire if necessary. Use step 2 picture as a guide on page 540. Now tie all the shrouds to the brass wire and when you have finished, even out the shrouds so they are all straight pulls and by spacing mimics the spacing of the dead eyes on the chain whales. Cut four 180mm lengths of 0.5mm black thread. Tie one end of each thread to the brass wire adjacent to shrouds 3, 5, 7 and 8, counting from the front. Feed the threads to the opposite of the shrouds and tie them off to the same position on the brass wire. They should be just tight enough to stay straight but not to pull the shrouds out of line. Attaching the futtock shrouds. Start with the foremast. Take the front futtock shroud and thread it behind the futtock slave next to shroud number 2. Continue with steps 2 to 6 on page 541. Lashing the top mast shrouds. Carefully follow steps 1 to 5 in your instructions for this process.
Fitting the boomkins. You made two boomkins in stage 91, now it's time to fit them, projecting forward and down from both sides of the beak head. If necessary, sand the edges of the beak head grating so that the boomkins can sit in their recess properly. Glue the boomkins in place using super glue, align the end of each boomkin just below the shaped top of the night head. Also note that the block faces down. Take either the netting from stage 89, cut a piece of 20mm wide and just long enough to fit between the two brass eye bolts. Thread the long edge of the netting into a length of 0.15mm black thread. Tie the ends of the thread to the two eyes to stretch the netting between them, seal the knots and trim the ends. Trim the bottom of the netting so that it will hang behind the beak head rails and fit neatly over the boomkin. Tuck the netting behind the beak head rails and secure it with some diluted PVA glue as used for sealing your knots. Constructing the gang board. Using the grating strips supplied in stage 89, construct two gratings. One should be A strips wide by 10 strips long, and the second should be 7 strips square. Paint them with diluted PVA glue to secure the joints after they are assembled. Hold the frame supplied in stage 90 over the gratings and draw around the inside edge with a sharp pencil. Then cut the grating to size with a craft knife. Use a fresh blade to reduce the risk of crushing or breaking the strips.
Try the frame in place. You may need to shorten the front of the frame a little so that it ends flush with the support. Stain the frame dark oak, then glue the gratings in position. For a model with a painted finish, paint the entire gangboard black. Fitting the mainstay attachments, we need to cut two lengths of 0.8mm black thread, each 500mm long. Stiffen one end each piece with PVA adhesive. Thread the first piece down the grating alongside the rear piece of the gammoning. Feed the thread through the hole in the stem just behind the gammoning. Pull the two ends of the thread level with each other and lead them through the night heads and over the top of the beak head bulkhead. Feed the second length of thread down through the hole between the two gammonings. Fit the gang board in place feeding the threads up through the holes in the rear grating as shown in your instructions. Then glue the grating in place with super glue ensuring it is square and central. Tie a 7mm heart block to one end of the thread with two half inches leaving a tail of about 20mm. Line up these three pieces of thread, the threads on each side of the knot plus the end that comes up the other hole in the grating. They need to be joined with a blind, blind binding. The binding needs to end very close to the grating. This is tricky to do so you can make the bindings a little further away from the grating then hold the longest tail and slide the binding down the thread until the bottom of the block is about 20mm from the grating. Fitting the wiggles. Take the wriggles supplied in this stage and those supplied previously and paint them black. The position of the wriggles are shown on the diagram in stage 42 in your instructions. Glue the first wriggles in place in the recess already cut into the whale. Where the whale curves away from the gun ports, set the bases of the wriggles level with the top of the gun port frame. 